What is up, Dokkan player? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy Blaze. Today we are back with another Dokkan battle video. Today, before we start the video, hopefully you guys are having a very, very good day today. So today, as you guys can tell, we have here another video, a team building guide for the upcoming revamp of the 200% perfect combat simulation. Uh, as you guys know, uh, right now, tomorrow is going to be the Wicked Bloodline. So this one might be a bit tricky here, but still very, very doable. Now, also, I do want to note that if you are watching the day of the event, then make sure you check out my newest video because right now there's no gameplay because the event's not out yet, right? So, here we are. This is basically to prepare you for tomorrow. Uh, this one might be a bit tricky, right? Because, again, as you guys can see here, the category, it is very, very small. There's only, like, one really hard-hitting LR. Uh, so, we need to look at some team builds here. So, of course, as a, by default, you want to bring Candy Vegito as your leader here. Uh, if you don't have Candy Vegito, you can bring Goten. But you, actually, you only really need is one nuking leader because that should be way enough. But if you have two, good for you. Because again, Candy Vegito is, he's very old, I want to say. But if you are a new player, unfortunately, you can't get his EZA because the event's not out yet. So again, this is a team build for all types of Dokkan players here. But we're trying to work with the best team build here. So we bring double Candy Vegito. Now, I think the easiest ones would be for sure the, the end type here. Uh, this one would be your best bet to get the event done in two turns. Um, again, the reason why is because... Uh, Again, there's not that many options here, but you have a lot of physical units that do hit. Sorry, that do hit very, very hard here. So, uh, of course, you want to bring Frieza here, and then you want to bring this Frieza as well, Cooler, and also you want to bring here the Int, Int free to play Frieza as your as your leader here. And then what you could bring as well uh, is you could bring the Majin Buu here if you do have him. He's gonna be very, very good. So let's actually go here to I guess Transformation Boost. Let's go Physical. And then you can bring this Boo here right here. Now, if you don't have this Majin Boo, because he is very hard to get, you could bring Kid Boo here. But you want to bring this Majin Boo here just because he's very consistent with your orb changing, especially if you are going to be using a Dabora cookie. So, I mean, this will be another team build that you could use here. So, let's actually take you out. Let's actually put the... We have Potaro. There we go. Just like that. And then we bring the Candy Vegito here. So, boom. There we go. That's basically the rotation you want to have here. Now, I definitely want to bring this Frieza with the free-to-play one because they share 6 out of 7 links. So, links are going to be very, very important. I just have him at levels 5 or 6. Um, my Frieza, as you guys can tell, he's fully matched level 10 links here. So, he is going to be hitting very, very hard. Now, when you do have this type of rotation here, you want to automatically transform with this Frieza. Uh, because, again, he's doing way more damage. And then, hopefully, you have a lot of the world cookies that are going to help you out here. Now, just in case he does, he does survive... Uh, with the double the world cookie, at least the next stage here you have Frieza and Cooler. They do share four links together, which is fine. But again, he is an orb changer as well, and also providing 50% support. So this will be another rotation that you could rock. Uh, if you don't have Kid Buu, if you don't have, of course, the Super Buu as well, you could bring. Oops, I'm on Potaro here. You could bring STR Cooler if you want as well. Uh, he's gonna work perfectly fine, but he's gonna get that. I mean, he's only given 30% attack and defense to transformation boost, so it's not really uh, a big. Um, it's not really like the best support, but I mean, he is sharing links as well with the cooler. So, I mean, you still have options here. So, if I put cooler here, I mean, it should be the exact same results. So, yeah, I want to keep the same rotation. Again, they share six out of seven links with this physical cooler. Plus, he'll be supporting uh, transformation boost as well here. Let me actually look at the Wicked Bloodline here. I'm not too sure this physical Frieza is part of the transformation boost, but I think he should be. So, let's actually take a look here. So, there's Frieza. And are you part of the transformation boost? You are part of the yeah transformation boost. So perfect. Cooler is gonna be providing support to the physical freeze as well here. Again, you just have to really hope that you do get a lot of orbs because again, Candy Vegito is providing you that 20% attack and defense per uh, key sphere. So again, this is probably gonna be your best shot to beat the event here. And of course, if you don't have this physical freeze here, then let's just say you don't have this physical freeze, then it's not really the end of the world. Um, but having them does help you quite a lot here. So let's actually go check the Wicked Bloodline here. Uh, let's go to Wicked Bloodline, just like that. So let's say you don't have this Frieza here. I mean, then it becomes very, very tough, right? So you kind of have to rely on this cooler here. So let's just bring actually another support type unit. So also, I do want to mention that in this rotation, um, this Frieza right here, actually, he's also a support type unit. So again, he gives 20% attack and defense plus key plus three I believe right so again this is why you want to have them paired up as well because he's gonna act like a support type unit for this Frieza here so uh, let's just say you don't have this Frieza I guess really not the end of the world uh, let's just actually go to the transformation boost here which should be right about here 
There we go. You could bring Kid Buu, just like this here. But again, you are going to be relying on this physical cooler here. Um, this cooler here and this freezer here, you're going to have to heavily rely on them. So this is now going to be your new rotation if you don't have, of course, the freezer here. The new transforming freezer. This will be your second rotation. They do share five links at, uh, out of out of seven links, which is still very, very good. Um, and also, he's be acting like a su support type unit, which is very good. And of course, you have this rotation as well, which is going to be very, very good. But again, this will be a lot of RNG base because obviously you don't start off with this type of rotation. But if you do, then obviously you want to make sure that you want to optimize your effect here. Um, now you could take a risk here. You could use double cookie on either the. Um, Sorry, double D the world cookie on Cooler or on Frieza. I personally would probably go with Cooler just because Cooler does have that chance to do additional supers. Uh, so that's going to be very, very good, especially if he gets a lot of orbs here. So, I mean, you definitely want to go with double Cooler. Again, it'll be, this will going to be his best rotation. He starts 6 out of 7 links, um, which are basically almost attack links at fully max level 10 links here. And of course, Kid Buu, he's very unconditional. But also, if you, if you do have the other um, physical Buu here as well, he'll be much, much better here. So if you have this boo here, he'll be much, much better. Because um, again, he's much more consistent with the orb changing as well, right? So again, this will be your two rotations here. I mean, this should be probably, I feel like, probably the most difficult one maybe. I'm not too sure. But I mean, this can definitely get the job done. Now, let's say you don't have any of the physical units here, which is a possibility, right? But then you definitely want to mix things up here. So another way that you could beat this event here, if you don't have any physical units, uh, you could do the... Um, physical stage here with STR units here. Now this one might be tricky, but still very doable. Uh, but this one's going to be very, very picky. So let's actually go and check the Wicked Bloodline. So there we go, Wicked Bloodline. And then obviously your best bet is going to be Cooler and Frieza. So you definitely want to bring these two together, just like that. And then you just want to load it up with support here. So let's actually go for... I mean, you could bring this Frieza as well, or King Cole. Um, they are not the greatest. I mean, I would love to bring this LR Frieza, but unfortunately, his, his EZ is not yet out on Global. It's coming out in a couple of days here. So unfortunately, he's not going to be your best option. Plus, when he does come in, I mean, there's not going to be any event left anyway. So unfortunately, you can't really bring this unit here. Um, I guess you could bring King Cole here, but I, what I would do here is that I would actually bring some support. So let's actually bring you in here, and let's actually go and bring the other support here. So let's actually go to... Let's go to, is there a universe 6? Perfect, there we go. Now, obviously you want to bring here, sorry, you want to bring here Hit here, just because Hit is again, the 50, sorry, 50 percent support for STR units, and plus he's an orb change as well. And then also you want to bring here, I guess, Physical Kid Boo here. Um, where is the transformation boost? There we go. And of course you want to bring here Kid Boo. So, boom, there we go. Again, this would be probably your best bet at being it in two turns. So again, you definitely want to keep these two on the same rotation. I actually want to give this here to you. And then obviously you want to bring your uh, hit as your support leader. Again, he shares zero links, which is fine. But again, Frieza is getting a double buff from uh, hit and also from cooler. I must they share four links together, which is pretty good. Uh, but again, what you also could bring here, I mean, you could switch it up and bring this here. So this is going to be your best bet at being at, uh, in two turns. But you definitely want to bring uh, a double limo uh, item here to make sure that Frieza gets the job done here. Um, again, SCR might be doable. I might actually give it some few tries here. Uh, I might put it in tomorrow's video as well. But I mean, if you have no physical units here, then obviously your best bet would be STR if you have Frieza and if you have Cooler. But I mean, again, this is very, very specific, right? So I don't think there's any other Wicked Bloodline STR units here, is there? Let's actually take a look here. Uh, let's actually take out you here. Well, let's stick out to you. Uh, sure, let, let's stick out Hit. Let's go ahead and put... Let's go back to Wicked Bloodline here. Uh, there we go. Boom, there we go. And let's just bring here this Frieza. Now, this Frieza, I mean, he's a kind of a... I mean, I don't think it's possible. But, I mean, you have your choices, right? So, this Frieza here, I don't think a lot of people are going to have him anyway. But he's pretty good, but he has to get hit first. The reason why is because... Once he gets hit, he does activate his passive. So his passive is attack plus 100%, right? So, oh, attack and defense plus 80%, plus additional attack plus 100% within the same turn after receiving an attack. So yeah, if Goku hits you in the first spot because he does actually hit you, I mean, he is going to get that very, very big boost. And of course, if you bring uh, the support item, the nuking item, and he's linked up with the cooler, then maybe you can get this done here. That's a very big maybe. But again, it's not really like the best option, but... 
if you have no physical units and obviously this would be your best bet here so again not that many options for wicked bloodline so it'll be a very short video uh, if i actually go back and check here what else do we have here i don't think it, at the str stage is possible because if we look back at the wicked bloodline it's not there's not really any agl units here that hit very very hard i mean we have this agl uh cooler metal cooler who's not really the greatest because he has to get attack first I mean, you do have these two coolers here, but I mean, it's not really going to be doable, in my opinion, right? So, yeah, I don't think the SDR stage would be very, very doable. And then we also have Int as well. Int might be a possibility, because you do have this cooler here as well. He's free to play, and he does attack multiple times here. So, as long as you give him his 18 key super, which would be very, very simple, you could get it done. But it's very, very risky here. So, let's actually put you together, just like that. And then you can get this here. I wonder... Who's actually his best looking partner? So let's actually go here on the Dokkan and let's actually look at Cooler. So this is another website if you guys want to look at uh, links here for characters who are, are good looking partners. This is another good option. So let me just write here Cooler if it will work. Cooler, there we go. And then we have here you. So this might open up. Yep, it did. Okay. So yeah, there you go. His best looking partner is going to be the this Cooler right here. So that's going to be pretty good. Um, I mean you could bring this free to play freeze as well because he's a support type unit And then I guess you'd be your best bet here. So this is kind of like gunning it, but I wouldn't really go with this option But I don't think it's possible with this type of team build here So then of course you want to bring your 50 sorry your 50% support Which is either gonna be the Vegeta or the Kid Buu as well. So let's actually go look for Let's look for pure Saiyans here just like that and then of course you want to bring the Vegeta and actually put this out here let's actually put int extreme there we go and then you want to bring this Vegeta here so this is another option I mean you're really like gunning this right so I mean this would be your best option right here this entire rotation is gonna be your best shot at basically completing the event here in two turns I'm not too sure there's actually a item here for new king uh, for the int one now that you, now that I mention it Let's actually take a look here. Let's go to the items here. Is there any items? Let's actually go here to guide. Let's go to, let's see, items, there you go. And then we wanna go to support items. I don't think there's any int one, by the way. So let me take a quick look here. Uh, this is gonna be raise key, there we go. Is there any for int? Oh, there we go, you have the Monaka. Wow, this is actually a very rare one to use, but yeah, you can definitely use the Monaka costume as your as your item here, and then maybe you can get this done here. This is a very big maybe. I haven't seen it done, but I probably will give it a try here. Um, and then yeah, I think this is probably your best bet to beat the event if you are using the in type units here. So that's gonna be a showcase, my boys. I mean, honestly, the team I'm gonna be using is definitely gonna be the physical one here because that's gonna be your best bet. So let's actually take a look at the physical one. Uh, let's go to Wicked Bloodline. We'll actually just go back to Transformation Boost here. There we go. And let's just actually take out you. Let's put Physical. So there, there we go. Boom. Boom, boom. And then you can get this here. Again, links are very important. They're actually much better than support units here because, again, links, they probably add you so much attack and defense. It's really insane. So definitely do not, do not sleep on the level links here. And then again, you could bring as well this Kid Bullet just like that as a rotation. But I mean, I prefer links compared to support, right? Because they're much more, much more uh, support than the support units here. So let's actually go back to Wicked Bloodline. All right, let's take you out. And then let's put the in Freezer here. So boom, there we go. That's going to be my rotation, just like that. And then you can get this here. And I would probably prefer that you guys go here. There we go. So, I mean, this would be your best rotation, if not, it be this one right here. But again, it all depends on RNG. So, yeah, that's going to be my team build. Hopefully, you guys helped you out here. Let me know down below what your team build going to be. Because I don't think a lot of people are going to have Frieza here. So, again, you could still do it with Cooler. He, he does attack multiple times. Um, and definitely, you can also bring the STR Cooler as well here. So, that's the video, my boys. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you hit the like button. Sub for more videos coming down below. And hopefully, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace!